Hi, this is Simon Upstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And this is going to be a technical look at the coordinate system used by filters and generators and why it's important to understand it. So let's get going. So I've set us up in a 1920-1080 project and that's going to be relevant for later on. And I'm going to bring in a checkerboard as a sort of background like that. Just turn it down a little bit like that so it's not so strident. And then I'm going to add to this a distortion ring lens and a lot of filters, as you notice, have centers and you can move those centers around with that on screen control if you want. And you can see over here where that center is. Let's center it up. So it all looks fine. But actually, if you open it up, what's happening here is that the coordinate system that drives filters is actually different to everything else, apart from generators, of course, which I'll come on to later. And the key point to understand is that zero for everything else is in the center of the screen. Whereas for these filters and for generators, which have the same coordinate system, zero is actually down here at the bottom left. Let's have a look at that. So if I zero these out, you'll see that's bottom left there. And it's also important to know that one for X is the right-hand side of the screen, and one for Y is the top of the screen. So it's using, as I say, a different coordinate system to everything else. And that creates a problem for when we want to link things to filters that aren't other filters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another object, like just like a circle, add it in the middle there, and let's give it some color. So let's start off by trying to attach the circle to the ring lens center. So let's open up the position. Now, you'd think we could attach all of it using a link. So let's attach that. So you'll notice that we obviously can't add the ring lens to that. It doesn't work. It pretends it works, but it doesn't actually work. So we could add the checkerboard itself, but that doesn't actually allow us to connect to the filter. And that is a problem. So what we actually have to do is we have to connect the X and Y position of the circle independently. So if I wish to come to the properties transform position X for the apply to, you can see that now we've got a different option for the source parameter here. And we can select the filters, ring lens, center, X. Now, as I say, the problem is that they use different coordinate systems and zero for this circle is not the same as zero for the ring lens filter. So to fix that, we have to enter an offset. So negative 0.5. And why is it negative 0.5? Well, it's because we are using the coordinates of the ring lens. So now if we were to move the ring lens, you'll see that the circle's X position is linked to it. And if we wanted to link the Y, we would have to do that independently. So add parameter behavior link. You again use the checkerboard. We need to select filters, ring lens, center, Y. And you'll notice that our circle pops up to there. And that's because again, we need to adjust for the coordinate system of the filter. So negative 0.5 for that puts us back in the middle there. And now both coordinates of the circle are linked to the coordinates of the ring lens. So I want to show you what it's like if we do it the other way around. So let's delete those. And if we want to link the ring lens to the circle, let's try that. Again, we can't link the whole thing. So if I add a link to the whole thing, add the circle, I can get the four corners. That's no use to me at all. And I can get the radius. But again, that's not what we want. We want to link to the transform position of the circle. So we have to do that again, one by one. So what I have to target here is the ring lens center X. That changes the source parameter options and I can choose properties transform position X for that. Now you'll notice that this time the ring lens is over here on the left and we need to adjust for the coordinates of the circle. And the coordinates of the circle use the pixel values of the screen. So you remember I told you that we're using a 1920 by 1080 project. So what we have to do is enter an X offset of half the width of the project. So that's 960. 
and you'll see that's worked really nicely. So here, if we move our circle, our ring lens follows along. We need to do the same thing for the Y. So we've come to Y, add parameter behavior link, select the circle. We need to select properties, transform position Y. And you'll see now that that's down at the bottom there. And that's because we need to gain respect the coordinate system of the circle. And that means we need to add half the height to the Y offset. So half 1080 is 540, and that puts us back here. So now we are linked again, like so. Now I'm just gonna turn off that circle. And I want to point out that if we want to link a filter to a filter, it's much easier. So if we come to distortion and bulge, so obviously bulge is another one that's got coordinates for it. I'm just going to reduce that bulge amount a bit like that and a scale, something like that. So we want to link that to the ring lens. So this is very easy. We can actually do it in one go. So select the center of the bulge, add parameter behavior link. We choose the checkerboard and we choose filters, ring lens, center, all. And the reason that's easy is because they are using the same coordinate system. So actually we've linked the ring lens to the circle there. So I'd need to adjust the circle or take off the links for the ring lens, but you get the idea. We've actually now linked the bulge to the ring lens very simply because they use the same coordinate system. You'll notice that generators as well use the same coordinates. So I could actually link the center of this grid in the same way. So add parameter behavior link, and I could link it to the ring lens by choosing the checkerboard, filters, ring lens, center, all. And now the center of the checkerboard, and this is getting very confusing, is linked to the ring lens center. And obviously I need to move the circle to show you this, but you'll see that we're actually moving the center of the checkerboard generator, not the checkerboard layer, the, the checkerboard generator center. So I hope that makes some sort of sense. It's a little bit confusing until you start to get your head around it. So the point is that you need to respect these different coordinate systems. So I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.